G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this edition where we're going to be focusing on creating an end-to-end -end solution around being able to filter a document library with the values that are coming from an associated list. So we're going to build out a SharePoint page, pop a couple of web parts on the page and then connect them together to provide a filtering option uh, in our case and in this scenario around product documents. So we've got a Microsoft list that is storing all of our products. Now we want to be able to select a uh, product from the list and then show the associated documents on a single page. Now this comes about from a question I had from a previous piece of content where we walk through how we can connect SharePoint web parts to create a dynamic uh, video library from YouTube um, video clips, right? So we had a SharePoint list and then by selecting uh, an item in a list, we can dynamically insert the embed code into the embed SharePoint web part uh, to display the correct YouTube video. Now there's a question, uh, how do we do that with documents? So that was uh, that was the catalyst for this uh, video here. So let's dive in and create uh, this dynamically um, selectable list of products and their associated documents. So you can see here that I'm just in the sales and marketing side here. So we've got this Microsoft list called product list and that is storing all of our products and our product information. That's what we're going to use as the basis of our filtering. Now, I'm going to first of all create a new document library. So we'll just go to the new document library and then we'll give this a, a name of product documents and then we'll create that. All right. So the thing that we're going to do here is we're going to add a lookup column to that product list. All right. So we're going to go add a column and we're going to scroll down here to our lookup column and then we're going to look the values of the title field up. Okay. So let's go um, uh, name this column product and then we'll it's the lookup column type and then from the from, uh, select the list as the source, we're going to choose the product list as the source. Now the title column is the, the, the column that we're going to, to look up here. All right. Now, when we select select more options here, we can bring across additional columns from that product list. So one column that I'm going to bring across is the code name as well. All right. So we'll hit save, and now we've got a lookup column, and we've connected these two, uh, well, a list and a library. Okay. So now we've got this, and you can see that that has now been added to the view. We've got product, and we've also got product code. Uh, now what we're going to do is let's just copy a few documents from our, uh, our document library here. So we'll jump into product marketing and then we'll just grab a few documents and we'll copy them across. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll attach that metadata or we'll uh, associate these documents with particular, uh, particular products. So we'll click copy to, that'll pop up this dialog box where we can then navigate back to the sales and marketing route site and we'll select product documents and then we'll copy these documents here. You can see in top right hand corner, it's whirring away there, all done and copied. If we jump over to product documents now, we'll have these documents here. Let's just pop this into our, into grid mode and now we can select our products from our list. All right, so I'm just gonna add, associate these documents to a couple of different products here. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll jump and create a new site, a new page, sorry. And then we will uh, link these two together on that page. All right, so we've associated the product. Now you can see what happens when you select the product, it brings across the product code name as well in these columns, all right? So now we've got the, 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 the base all set. So I'll jump back to the home page. Let's create a new page, all right? And then we'll add some web parts, the list web part and the document library web part to a page, and then we'll connect them up and provide our filtering. So we'll click on page. Let's just create a blank page and we will give this uh, page a title. Let's just call this products and documents. And we'll hit, we'll get rid of this uh, text web part. We'll make this a one third left and um, a, a larger portion on the right. We'll choose the list web part on the left hand side. So we'll go product list. Now what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna turn off the command bar and the see all and we'll hit apply. And now 
in the right hand web part, what we'll do is we will add the document library, the product uh, documents document library that we just um, that we just created there. So we'll search for document library and we'll add that to a page, uh, add, that, add that to this page. And you can see here, we've got that. We'll do the same thing. We're just gonna turn off the um, those options there. Now, one thing that we've got here is this little toggle switch. So we've got this dynamic filtering capability and you can see here, we can filter by items selected in another list or library. Let's turn this on and we've now got two drop downs. So column in the product documents uh, to filter, we wanna filter by product and then the list or library containing the values. So we're looking uh, at the product list here and that is the list that is uh, providing us the values and the title column is the actual, uh, the filters value properties, all right? So we'll hit apply and we'll close this now and let's publish this page. Now what is going to happen here is we can now select a product in the product list from the left hand side and then that is going to uh, only show those documents. So we can see here, let's just uh, sort this from A to Z and we've got the business telephone 2000B. So let's have a look at the business telephone 2000B. We'll select that. Now you can see on the right hand side, we've successfully filtered those documents based on that, uh, the value of the product. We'll untick this. Let's have a look at car audio to uh, 2500 and we can see, we can select that on the list uh, on the left and then dynamically show those documents on the right. So there we have it. We can connect to uh, a list and a document library on the same SharePoint page and provide uh, the, the filtering functionality to really um, dynamically show the relevant documents in this case uh, to the products that we select. And again, we can extend on that because that can be multiple different types of documents in that document library. So we could have um, user guides or instructions, uh, diagrams, things like that. So we can have everything contained in the one place and create a page and provide a, a one-stop shop for all of our product documentation. So hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next edition.